Hi there, this is uh, Eugene Blanchard, and uh, this is part one of uh, creating your own do-it-yourself dynamometer. Um, in my case, I want to measure for measuring the horsepower of an electric motor. Now, what happened is I stumbled upon uh, uh, several videos online that talked about converting an alternator from a car to a three-phase electric motor, and that kind of intrigued me. Uh, there's lots of pages, probably uh, 100 YouTube videos that talk about how to do it, but there's not much empirical research, which means that, okay, when you do it, how much horsepower you're actually going to get out of it and what is its characteristics and that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making my own uh, dynamometer. And uh, uh, this is a guide rather than step-by-step -step plans. Uh, it's, and the reason is, is I'm just using junkyard parts that I've got in my, or scrap parts that I got in my garage. And what I want to do is a, a proof of concept. So what we'll do is we'll take a look at what I've got so far. The initial plan was to use a brake rotor as an inertia device. It's, as a, and uh, so it's going to be rotating and that. And then we have a, a motor. This is my test motor. I uh, had an adapter shaft I made. And then what I was going to do is uh, uh, you don't want your brake rotor spinning too much. So I had a 30 tooth uh, gear and then I had a 10 tooth gear would mount on here with a chain drive. Right? Uh, a couple bushings on here and uprights and that. I've got room for a second rotor uh, back here. I found out that actually I do need a second rotor, get more weight on there. This dyno was made out of scrap parts and uh, I added the test motor was uh, one and a half horsepower and uh, what it did is it had a 5 8 inch threaded shaft. In my junk pile I had a 10 tooth gear that was a half inch so I had to make an adapter so I basically made an adapter. It made it quite long. Uh, what I wanted to show was uh, I, when I mounted the motor basically let's see you come over this way um, I had a support on this side for the shaft right so this is just a, a bronze bushing and that so that way uh, the axle has support on here it's not putting a lot of pressure on the very just scrap stuff that I uh, just welded the bushing in a long time ago and then bolted it in drill holes and tap it put the screws in made it nice easy installation so what I have is I have two brake rotors these are old brake rotors from a Mercury Cougar that I had I'm using them as my inertia a chain drive on it had to make a bunch of adapters everything was made from scrap metal here right I'm, I'm using bushings uh, there's bronze bushings in here on here uh, made a little adapter welded it in got my chain 30 uh, tooth here 10 tooth over here so I have a 3 to 1 ratio uh, you don't want to spin these uh, rotors too fast uh, they could explode a real simple mount for my uh, motor and then I had an adapter that I made to go from the 5 8 inch shaft to the uh, this was only a half inch uh, so now what you'll see is uh, when I turned it on uh, why we really need a 3 to 1 ratio this thing is going to run probably uh, around 1200 rpm and it's moving quite good.